feel it dragging the ship. Hmm, it's not really coming off the ground. Oh, here it comes. Flipping hell, this is heavy. Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome! Today we are doing a little bit more gameplay while we wait for the news to start kicking out again, which is hopefully coming next week. Uh, but today we are again back at Astor's clearing. We are in a different vehicle this time, we're just having our morning coffee. Uh, with the plan being sort of similar to what I have been doing previously, but with a little bit of a different spin on it. I'll check out the interior there because I've had a bit of decorating going on. So previously we've been in the Drake Vulture. We've been looking around for some salvage, getting what we can. There's a Vanguard there. There's a, a Gladius floating up there. Um, but yeah, trying to make as much cash, not as much cash, but just enjoying being in the verse, flying around, seeing what there is. And so today I thought we would do something a little different. I have picked up an Argo SRV. I upgraded my Argo Mole to one. Uh, as I've been really intrigued by this vehicle for a long while. Mostly for the future. So when we have base building, I one, one dream that I have is to have a scrapyard where I tow sh Interesting where I tow ships that I find to this little scrapyard area with a storefront that I've built myself and players can come along and they can take a look at the various ships that I have there and the conditions they're in, take the, you know, make me an offer for a component or for a weapon or even for a vehicle that they want to restore. So today, as I say, we're going to do the same sort of gameplay where I float around looking for this organic gameplay that happens based on what other players have been doing but using an Argo SRV now it's I've not really used this much aside from the two hours that I had hang on let me just go and get this loot box uh, aside from the two hours that I had yesterday playing with it checking it out seeing what it was like so there's still a lot I need to learn about it but there is a lot to to, to, to find um, the issue being with taking ships oh there's a few bits here oh yeah so yeah the issue really being is that i don't have any weapons ship weapons the argo uh, srv does not come with any weapons whatsoever so breaking into ships is going to be pretty difficult that said i do have an a cutting tool attachment which i know used to be a method but i think now with the changes to the weapon damage not so much however I have come across a lot of weapons. These have all been looted in that two hours that I was playing. We've got an S71. We have a, uh, a Gemini... Oh, what is it? A C54. A P8 from Bayring. And then we have my trusty old Arclight. We have a Salvo frag pistol and a Coda. 50 caliber right, uh, revolver style weapon. And then my multi-tool and medical gun, which I already had. Got some sustenance here. Got some dollar vine. Found a flashlight. Uh, and this is a, a comp board and some had uh, adhesion stuff. And then here we have a, a good old bottle of beer for when I finish my day. In fact, that looks half drunk already. But when I finish my day, I'll have a I'll crack open a beer. Uh, and also, I have found quite a bit of stuff that I am keeping. Some clothing and a helmet. Um, some ammunition. Where is my cutting tool? That's the question. I don't know what I've done with it. We may have to buy another one. Um, but yeah, so we're going to see how we get on. As I say, the difficulty being, I don't know if I'm going to be able to 
Oh, we need to sort all this out as well. Let's just chuck it in my vehicle for now. Oh, there's my, there's the tool. All right, let's move that. So the difficulty being is, how are we going to crack open these ships so that I can turn the power off and the shielding off so that I can track to them? And the plan really is to tow them to a undisclosed location, somewhat setting up a scrapyard where I can go back to with my vulture and salvage them. So it's just occurred to me, I haven't actually scanned to see if these are uh, fair salvage or not. I've just been hacking away on them. Let me just see what it says. If it says game rules, then we're good. Okay, I don't think this is fair salvage. I think someone is still using this ship, or they haven't claimed it yet, which... Obviously, they haven't logged out in a bed, because the Gladius doesn't have a bed, but it's not for me to determine... Whether they're coming back for their ship, that is up to them. Now, if, I think if it doesn't come up with game rules before it starts showing the components, then the likelihood is it is still owned. So they're actually not fair salvage. What I will do, though, is check out what this box is over here. We're in VTOL mode. I've been using VTOL mode quite a bit because it is going to be... Once the master mode stuff comes in, it's going to be quite important that you utilize that. And what have we got down here? There is something down there. Let's see if we can tow it out. I'm still getting to grips with towing. Oh, is that it? Let's wait till we get float past this tree. Right. Oh, there it is. Let's try and put it down over on this hill, I think. And it doesn't seem to want to come with. Tell you what, let's try something different. Let's winch it round like a helicopter. Whoa. Getting confused. saying it's getting further away that's I think there's something wrong <laughs> with this information just try and dump it there I think I don't think that's quite accurate if you ask me yeah, there's something a little strange with the tractor beam. I'm assuming it's bugged. If anyone has any information about that, then do let me know, because the default controls don't work. They don't work at all. Even binding it myself to the joystick doesn't seem to work. Now, if I do, I'm going to have to try and sell this somewhat sharpish because, you know, rather than fill up with more cargo to take. Because if a security ship was to come along and scan me, I would get a crime stat and they would take this uh, and I wouldn't be able to sell it. So, we are, you know, I'm also the, the scrap that I have on board. I actually found that um, at a bunker. There was a ton of ships around a bunker, so I, I decided to take the scrap. I know it's not worth much, but, you know, cleaning the place up, getting some extra cash on the side. So I thought I would do it anyway. 
But yeah, we're just chilling out in the berth. Making money where we can. And trying to learn how this whole process works while imagining that I am... I have a scrapyard. I'm living the dream. So we've got one scrap, one widow. Excellent. We'll scoot around and check out the local areas, uh, being Dunsboro and um, Harper's Point, and just see if there's anything there to take. The sun is going down, so we've got to be a bit wary of that. And see if we can find a way to actually tow a ship. That's what my intention is. I want to try and tow a ship. Take it to a, like I say, a, a sort of undisclosed location where I can then either come back and salvage it with my vulture or sell it as salvage for uh, for a you know a reclaimer clue crew or anyone really who wants it but it's a funky little ship to use for uh, for just chilling out in the versing and once we get the ability to you know the new star map where we can place markers and waypoints and a trading app or a console or you know for the Moby glass a bit like Mo Trader, but where we can actually trade items with other people legitimately without running the risk of being scammed, I suppose. We also need more fuel. Anyway, we're going to go to Dunsboro. See how we get on. seeing a lot of these around most of them are owned we've not had a game rules pop up yet let's see Afraid. Let's go into VTOL. As I say, with master modes coming along, getting into VTOL and atmospheric flight changes, using VTOLs with the ships that have them is going to be very important. Oh, it is. Excellent. Let's go and check it out. It's going to be... The other struggle now is... Can I... Tow it. I'll need to get on board. Maybe I can shoot the door open. Hang on, it's open. Ah, oh, wonderful. I think we might have hit the jackpot here. Shame about the frame rate. I will just get a weapon, though, just in case. I don't intend on fighting with anyone. In fact, uh, there we are. A nice Gemini C54. This actually sells for about 1.3 thousand at places like this. Uh, and I think I may have some attachments I can use. Lovely. There it is. And we have 40 rounds there. Right, let's go and get in. Hello? Anybody around? I mean, I can't imagine there is if this ship is just left here. Still got its power on. So let's go inside, turn everything off. What I'll try and do is tow it to somewhere a little safer, if possible. I'm still learning how to tow. Tow it to somewhere a little safer out the way where players aren't necessarily going to be flying past. Take all the weapons off and try and store as many of them in... Well, that looks damaged anyway. Try and store the ones that are in reasonable nick in the cargo bay of my ship. 
Hello. And um, see how we get on. No weapons. Anyone inside? That's the cargo bay. Nothing inside there. Let's check the see if the X1 is in there. That would be nice. Where is that store at the front, isn't it? Let's go and check to see if there's an X1. Oh, no. Okay, that's open as well. He basically opened everything. And just left it open. Right, let's go and do the business of opening the ports and turning off all the power so that there's no shields. So, item ports open. Everything off. Right, let's see how this towing lark goes. Never towed a ship. Didn't really do very well at towing a box. Uh, I don't know if it's... I th I'm assuming it's just bugged, which is causing the issues. But I want to be at least 15,000 kilometers away from Dunborough. Because I believe that's about the range that these kinds of ships pop in on the scanners. Obviously, this, there'll be some variation to this based on maybe the scanner they're using. doing the whole reeling in. Yeah, it's not working. That's insufficient force. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's coming. Crap. Press the wrong button there. Feel it dragging the ship. Hmm, it's not really coming off the ground. Oh, here it comes. Flipping hell, this is heavy. Alright, let's try and switch from VTOLs to normal. Maybe get some speed up. All right, we got it. It's coming. Right, we're about 18, nearly 20 kilometers away from Dunborough now, which I think is about fine for, with me. I'm good with that amount. Let's slow it down and bring it down to the ground. There we are. Right. Now, ideally, I'll flip that over. Let's see if we can use the rotation. We'll have to get into the turret. rotation either. No, it's just dragging the ship down. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. I can't manipulate it, it seems. But it's upside down. We'll leave it there for now, and I will 
How far are we? 23.4. Let me try and take the weapons off. Oh, I need landing gear down. Let's make our way, if I can, quickly without things blowing up. We'll try and get back to um, Astor's clearing and see if we can sell those. If we can't, the likelihood is we can't because they're player-owned default loadouts. Our best bet really is to find ships that have been destroyed by, you know, NPC ships that have been destroyed by players. Hang on a minute. Oh, that's because I've just been in it. Yeah, ships that have been destroyed by, by players. So that they're all fair game, fair salvage. And easy to pick up and remove and sell their weapons. Oh, they're here, look. I wonder if we can sell them. No. So it's recognizing them, 1.2 each. But they're failing because they are owned. Sorry, they're, uh, they're default weapons. Doesn't seem to have a great deal of hydrogen fuel. I'm not sure if using the VTOLs causes them to like to run out quicker. Maybe that is the case. But I'll be back once we have refueled. I'll just go to a Shuban outpost. Uh, I might see if there's any ships around there as well. Because with bounties spawning in over points of interest, like Shuban outposts, like the mining outposts, uh, sometimes if you look around, you can find some derelict ships, some you know destroyed ships. That could be worth taking. We'll have a look. So I've just come down to a data center to do a... Well, not to do a beacon, a, a bunker mission, but... Where the bunkers take place. Because often you can find quite a lot of ships around here. It looks like we're only finding the one. Being a, a, an Avenger Titan. Let's just check to see if it's fair salvage or not, or fair claim. But these are often good places to come and find some derelicts. Because uh, a lot of ships get left here because players die quite often going to these spots. We'll just see what it says. Looks like there's not much left of it. And it is pretty beat up. Whoops. Let's get my VTOLs on. We'll see if we can get inside, though. Go take a look. In fact, it might even open. Yeah, good. Let's do that first. It is completely destroyed by the looks of things, but let's just see if we can get on board and turn the shields off or anything else for that matter I don't know if they're even on it's probably it looks almost soft death yeah it looks turned off okay we should be good we could try and tow this to my little spot my little scrapyard spot hang on a minute 
turret? Is that a turret? Let's just go check to see what this is over here. Yeah, it's just targeting the turrets. All right. Let's focus on the ship. Steady, try and get out of atmosphere, take it over to Dunborough, where I've got the 400 eyes sitting. And we'll get a little collection. And then we can come back and salvage it. Tolls on. Here it is. Let's put her down. There we are. So, we have a 400i and an Avenger Titan. My scrapyard is starting to come together. Let's head on out and see what else we can find. think it's going to go. Yeah, I don't think we're strong enough to tell that. We're going to have to leave that one. Oh, there's a box, it seems. Let's check this out. Just put it down here and go and see what this is. Don't blow it away, no. Landing complete. Oh yeah, we'll leave the lights on so we can see where we're going. A brass. All right, we'll take that. The problem is anything you find lying around is classed as stolen and there are terminals some no questions asked terminals at space stations uh crew l4 crew l5 uh, as well as you can go to scrap yards you can go to grim hex and you can sell them there but i've been tr i found a lot of containers 32 seu containers of rmc and that was a lot of money there and i tried to take them I rented a freelancer, tried to, to take one and sell it, but it just wouldn't sell anywhere at all. Which was really disappointing, but I don't know if that's just a bug with that particular one at that time. Or if they're all suffering. There we are. 
Might be worth heading to a scrapyard now and seeing if we can sell any of this stuff. Because I don't want to be caught with it, because I can get into bother and get a crime stat uh, and pay a fine and then lose it. So we've just come to the icebreaker. This is one of the usual spots I hit up with my vulture. Oftentimes you can find some ships here. Not big ships necessarily, but sometimes you can find a larger ship that someone has transported, say, a, a Merlin in to do some racing. But today, it doesn't look like there is anything around. This is on Euterpe, by the way, one of the uh, Microtex moons. It is also a spot where, or the planet, or the moon, sorry, where the um, scrapyard is, which is where you go to sell some stone and goods sometimes. We will see if it works. Let me just head back out and head to the scrapyard and we'll come back once we're there. So we're just pulling into Devlin, which is the scrap and salvage yard. Sometimes I think these places you can sell stolen goods, so we'll, we'll see if we can sell this stuff. There is a vulture here. If I see any ships that are potential fighter ships, I will just make a break for it. Because I can't, I can't really fight back. And oftentimes these places get camped out by uh, not necessarily criminals, mostly legitimate players or, you know, non-criminals looking for people coming in and selling stolen goods. So looking for criminals. So we've got to be careful. But we'll just see what the status is of this vulture. Sometimes these are good places to hit up as well because you can find cargo just strewn everywhere, strewn everywhere. This one is owned. by a Mr. Someone. Landing gear down. It's a bit windy. But if we can just put it in here, go and see if we can sell quick. some drugs there. Might be worth trying to see if I can sell that as well while it's here. Might have been ditched because they can't. Okay, so Barras. 4,000 for that. If it sells, that is. Yeah, that's sold. Excellent. Widow. 26 grand for that one. And that's worked. Nice. And then scrap. 370. Well, not the best. But we got 26 grand for that widow. That was pretty good going. A nice haul, that one. Let me see if I can just pick this up, put it in my ship. Oh, yeah, we can sell some slam. 2,000 for that little bit. Very nice. Just a couple of grand there for some slam. That's what I like. Heat. 
<laughs> right, we've arrived. So, the plan is I will salvage these two ships, scrape all the hulls. Ideally, I would have gotten a lot more than just the two ships, but you get the idea. It's not the most optimal way to make money, but then that's not what I do here. So, we've got the Avenger and we've got the 400 and we're just going to scrape all the hulls off of it, see how much we can make in terms of RMC uh, and then disintegrate them as well and go and sell that using this vulture. I suppose I best get to it. The sun has just risen. Fingers crossed it works. There's been a few bugs, I think, of late of trying to sell stuff. Yeah, they're not. Oh, they are taking it. So 40 grand there, 13 point, well, 13,654 per unit. That's not bad at all. We'll take that. Lovely. And unfortunately, they're not buying construction materials. We could maybe try the admin office. Right, here we are. Let's try and sell the construction material, see if that goes. It does. Wonderful. 30 grand there as well. Not too shabby. So we got 70 grand in total there. I'll take that. Well, there we go. That is it for today's video. Not as profitable as I would hoped. Uh, we made 30 grand on a few pieces of cargo that we managed to collect, and then 70 grand on the two ships that I collected and managed to scrap and then disintegrate. Ideally, I would be moving more ships. Um, I still got to get used to how this ship functions and what the pros and cons are of it. There is the difficulty of processing the ships. Ideally, I would have sold the location of the ships that I'd transported to someone, to a salvager, to, to pay to go and get them. Right now, it's quite easy to make money by paying out a thousand or ten thousand for a few ships. And then you can obviously go and get those ships and scrape them. And it looks like the 400i, you can probably make, I don't know, just shy of a hundred thousand with it, potentially. It's hard to say. But yeah, obviously with it being so quick and easy to make cash from ships just lying around as a salvager, people are not too inclined to do that. What I might do uh, in the future is fly around with it and see if I can find any ships that have been, any NPC ships that have been damaged. Uh, and once we get this dedicated track, uh, salvage tool, then there's another option there for me. But I do enjoy the ship, and I do enjoy the process of tractoring things around. If I could work for someone, maybe helping them move ships to a, a better location for them, then that would work. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun. And probably not the best ship to be using if you are new to the game. Because uh, as I had to demonstrate, I needed to also use my vulture to make the money. Let's go up and get in to the habitation area so that we can log off. But as always, this sort of dynamic gameplay that allows me to just exist in this verse, I'm not bothered about making a ton of cash in the shortest amount of time. Yes, you need to make money to buy new things, to keep your ships flying and whatnot. But for me, it is just about existing in the verse and the interactions that I have with other people, uh, seeing what's happened, taking advantage of situations that and ships that might have been left. 
and just appreciating the environment because it is beautiful. Oh, I do need to have something to drink. But with that said, that is me done for this video. Uh, again, I'm still waiting for this SRT tool to come along and I will make a video on that talking about how useful that's going to be for new players and old players alike, depending on just what you're after. But until then, if you would be so kind as to hit subscribe, we are very, very close to 60,000 subscribers, which is pretty impressive. I don't know, didn't mean to drop that just on the floor. Also, come and hang out over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother. You are more than welcome over there. We do a lot of testing and playing and talking about Star Citizen and just seeing what's going on. Uh, sometimes we do the Zero to Hero stuff as well. We need this new patch to make the, the game a little bit smoother than what it is right now. But the link to that is in the description below. And if you want to know what I use for head tracking, it is the Toby Eye Tracker 5, which is currently 15% off until January 29th. So if you are interested in picking one up, it is a great time to do so with that discount. The link in the description below will take you to that discount. And it also provides my channel with a kickback. So it is much appreciated on my end. But with that said, that is me done for today. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind. Does the channel a big favor and tick that notification bell if you'd like to be notified when my videos go live. Again, big thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching. Whoops. No. Oh, no. I think I've picked up a torch. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.